what's up. Yeah, I can be early. It's not weird for me to be early sometimes. Don't freak out. Don't make it a thing, you know? It's not weird for me. Sometimes I impress... Hello, chat. What is up? Welcome back to the stream. Hope everybody's doing well today. What are the vibes at? Do you like Justin Timberlake? No, you said Timberland. Oh, that's way different. <laughs> Most impressive thing is that he finally changed out of that stupid Fred shirt. I've been live for two minutes. This is why I show up late. You're the reason I show up late. <laughs> Play the Stormwatch song. Boys. It's still hashtag small ant. Oh, whoops. Chat, what is up? Welcome back to the stream. Today we're going to be live for literally one hour because I tonight am going to be hanging out with my girlfriend. So I thought in this chair for the past two hours, what the fuck am I going to do on stream today? I want to do something that can maybe end up being a YouTube video. Maybe not. Something that's kind of fun. I don't want to do any react content. Because I have to watch Vinland Saga Season 1, 9 episodes tomorrow. And then Sunday we're watching Super Smash Gone Top 8. So we got a lot of reacting this weekend. It didn't make sense to me to react today. Didn't make sense. So I was like, alright, what what can I do then? What and 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 I and what this is what I do when I'm normally in this spot. When I'm normally in this spot, I scroll through my library. I looked through the old Ludwig catalog. So I'm looking through all my old videos. Bangers, by the way. Bangers. I'm doing crazy shit on this website. I'm looking through all the old videos, and I come upon this video called Beat the Game in One Hour or Lose $1,000. And in this challenge, I played Who Wants to Be a Millionaire uh, until I was hopefully able to beat it. What ended up happening is that I lost uh, my very last attempt on question 14. It was kind of it was kind of cool, kind of epic. And that was a year ago to the week. A year ago, August 5th. I also went live on Twitch. Or I looked at Twitch. I didn't go live. That would be illegal. And I saw Germa985 playing a little bit of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And I was like, you know what? It has been over a year since I played that game. Give me one hour. Let me try to beat the game. If I fail, I'm out. If I succeed, I, f I succeed. Call it a day. This is my backup because I tried to get into the pro 10-man lobby with Tarek. <laughs> and they and they, and they they big-dogged me. I, I, I had this whole thing planned out. I was going to sneak into this pro lobby. I was going to try to play with the pros. I was going to redeem the cheating accusations. I'm a Valorant OTV tournament champion. And then I get into the lobby, and everyone's like, Is this Ludwig? We, we should probably find, like, a fill, right? They little broed me. I was like, what the fuck? I'm... I'm really good at Valorant. I don't get it. You don't have the SATs to be a pro. Do you think people who are good at Valorant are good at SATs? These motherfuckers barely get their GEDs. Are you kidding me? They've devoted every waking second of their high school career to playing the video game. Uh, anyway, that's the plan today. We're going to throw an hour on the clock. I'm going to boot up the game. We either get 15 or we don't get 15. That's that's my goal. But 
you know, I was thinking last time I did this, I said, all right, if I fail, I'll, I'll, I'll give Chad a, th a thousand bucks, AKA I'll give y'all 200 gifted. And, and I, and I could change it this time. I could give one random person a thousand dollars, but I'm trying to think what's something better. What's something perhaps better? What time are we going live tomorrow? 2 PM, 2 PM, 2 PM tomorrow. I'll be live. What do I do? What do, what do I do? What do I do? Pay the mods? Boo. <laughs> Boo. Yuck. Well, the stream will actually start at 2 p.m. tomorrow because I have to watch. I have to. I keep saying I have to. I get to watch uh, Vinland Saga and I have a strict time. Um, I could. Well, let's get some brainstorms going. You have to do the NPC trend. That sounds miserable. That trend is so dead now, too, though. How would I do it, though? Because you need a pretty... Do I do it with, like, super chats? Fine. Fuck it. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Boys, today I'm going to prove that the SATs that I took last week were a fluke. Because if you missed it, I did this online test and I ended up getting 24%. Even on the regrade, I didn't do all that well. And I'm hoping today I can prove that I'm quite intelligent and very smart in a different way. By beating an online video game known as Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yeah, we're okay. We're copying Germa a bit today, but it's like it's okay because you know I've done it in the past as well. It's just the timing is because I was in part inspired, but you know in the grand scheme, I, he probably won't even notice. I'll only be live an hour. We're in and out today. That's what we're trying to do today, boys. If I succeed, here's what's gonna happen. Right now, if you guys don't know, if I do this, meow, meow, meow. Sometimes I. I recognize that if it was not for chat, the, the things I say in my own private home are very weird. If I meow, people in chat spam God Gamer. This is not some Pavlonian thing I have tricked them to do like Jim Halpert over the course of a year. This is a this is a deal that I made with them. A deal that I made because I did a God Gamer challenge, and if I meow, now they have to do this. I would like to make a new deal. I would, like a, I would like to make a new deal today. Here is my offer to you, chat. If I successfully beat Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, aka complete all 15 questions within the confines of one hour, something I've never done before, then every time I woof, big dog in the building, every time I woof, you guys have to spam Smart boy. <laughs> smart boy. Ah, smart boy. Smart boy. Not good boy, smart boy. Because I will be proving my intellect today. That's it. Now, I'm, I'm not asking you to do this for free. All right? I'm asking you to do this only if I prove that I'm smart by beating who wants to be a millionaire. And I'm willing to offer you something in return. If I fail to beat who wants to be a millionaire within an hour today, for if for whatever reason, shocking, I fail to do this. And and by the way, when I say one hour, whatever time I start the final question, we are allowed to play through. Okay, I'm saying that right now because people are going to join and they're going to be like, an hour pass and you're on question 11. It's GG. It's GG. We're going to finish it out. 
All right, it's an hour plus the added time of the final one, of course. If I fail to beat the game within an hour, then I will do an NPC TikTok stream for one hour, and I will give chat all the money. I'll find some random people in chat to pay out all the money that I receive in doing that stream. Does that make sense? Because Squeaks did this for an hour, and I think he made $3,000, all right? So similarly, I would pay you all out whatever I make. There is one little caveat that it, I, I will only pay out the equivalent in Super Chats and memberships. I will not be paying out what I make in TTS funds because that goes to the mods already. I would not reallocate that money for the stream, but I'll still pay out the Super Chat and all that stuff, which is still good. Like, it'll still be a good amount. It'll still probably be, you know, a good chunk of money. That's the game plan. All right? Is that fair? No, I'm not going to, like, <laughs> it's not like if I make $2,000, I'm going to give everybody in chat $2,000. If I make the money, I will give all that money away. The, the money will just, it's like, I'm not even touching it. It's, it's like hot potato. I'm like, oop, I don't even want it, and I, and I throw it back out. But I'm not going to find the amount of money and then give it X to 20000 I don't even think I can. Let's just play the fucking game. Like, it's it's seriously not even fun when you guys just make fart noises over the things that I do. Because, like, I'm trying to be really serious here. And I consider this, like, not just, like, a job, but, like, a craft. And you guys kind of, like, mock it. And it's like, like, let's just do it. Let's just, like, I won't even, you know. Like, this is my craft. Like, I don't. All right. Who wants to be a millionaire? All right, we're going to play normal mode. And as far as the themes. Okay. I think let's do all the basics. Arts, entertainment, geography, history. I think that's fair. Give me language. Give me sports and hobbies. I don't know if I want lifestyle. I'm not going to do all of them. I am not going to do all of them. That will not be happening. No shot. Look, I want to win this challenge. And I'm telling you right now, all is not a good way to win the challenge. I don't know shit about manga. Yeah, I fucking like, like six anime. Manga would screw me over. Because anytime you click manga, it's not going to be like, Luffy has a long-nosed companion. What's his name? Usopp, Usopp, Usopp. It's like, season four of Sword Art Online had Kirito fucking not only his cousin, but what other family member? It's like, I don't know. I didn't get that fucking far. Science? I'm, I may be open to science. I may be open to science. Science could work. Yeah, I'll do science. I'll do these eight. I think these eight are good. These are like the... These are all DLCs. So let's do the eight natties, and I might remove some. All right. I always play as Massimo because he's a CEO, like I am, and also likes cars, like I do. All right, let's jump to it. I could maybe do Star Wars, but I don't think my knowledge is up to date enough. All right, timer starts when I click next. All right, one hour to beat all 15 questions on who wants to be a millionaire. 
If I succeed, I am smart boy. If I fail, I will pay out somebody in chat thousands of dollars. Now, it's worth noting at this point of the contest that there are a total of three lifelines that I can use. I don't think you can use it on the first question. So let's finish the first question and get to it. Two U.S. states are separate from the other. Hawaii is one. The other is Alaska. My gut says that it's C. Okay, C. So this is your final answer? Yes, absolutely. That was the right answer. Our team. So if you guys don't know, who wants to... Oh, I should go top left, I guess. Show so high chat, because I'd be cheating. So who wants to be a millionaire? To win it, you have to complete all 15 questions. But you do get four total lifelines, of which I am allowed to use all of them. 50-50, which eliminates two options, leaving you with two left. Uh, ask chat, which would be me asking you guys swap to a different question or phone a friend and to do that i would have to call a friend in real life uh so that's that's the rules we're playing with i get four lifelines 15 questions to win uh let's jump into it mike tyson's a controversial figure in which sport boxing and call it a day for a you make it look easy you got it it's all it's all easy I, look i'm pretty good you. at this trivia game because i've played it a few times what does discreet mean english major uh dis uh dis wait Are there two discretes? Discreet. Discreet. Could you discreetly pass me a note? Uh, uh, it's like, uh, I think it's like, I think it's to avoid attention. It's like quietly. Maybe it's careful. Fuck. Is it to avoid attention or carefully? I think it's to avoid attention. And sometimes you have to be careful to avoid attention. Let's go with A. Final answer. I'm an English so major. This is your I spent $80,000 on this degree. That's my final answer. I spent $80,000 on this degree. This is not the right answer. What? Sorry. I really didn't handle that one at all. What does that it's mean? Discreet? We had to play the card of caution. Come on. Now you leave with nothing. I'm sorry for you. There's this discreet with so two yeah. E's. But I know you're trying your best. That makes it better than that one loser who didn't listen to Tyler one while playing fiddle sticks. Can oh. you imagine playing Valor and some idiot walks hooker and dies after you warn them twice? Let me throw in Disney. Let me throw in Disney because I think I know a lot about Disney by proxy of Cutie Cinderella. What common name is given to the muscle in the back of the leg below the knee? The calf. Lock it in. Lock it in. B. Are you sure? You took your time. No, I didn't. You question. Quite annoyed by the gambling center of Las Vegas is in what U.S. state? Nevada. B. Of course. Okay. Run me my check. Complete the title of the weekly variety show first aired in 1975. Saturday Night Live. Okay, D. It inspires confidence in me. And that is great. Complete the title of the 2002 film My Big Fat Greek Boyfriend. <laughs> Okay. My big fat Greek wedding. And All right. Let's go for A. This is what this is what you the first five questions choice. should be. I don't know what that discreet shit was. What elected body formally chooses the US president? The Electoral College. I'm gonna say Which I really don't understand big. the existence of, but And the correct answer is you reach the threshold. I mean, technically, we're already a third of the way there. We're already at question five. What is another name for a spit used in cooking? What? A spit? 
What is a spit? Like a spitfire? Is that like the pig with the apple in the mouth? Okay, let's think here. I'm French. <coughs> I'm French? Mm. Ah, oui. And patisserie. A patisserie is a... F uh, what the fuck is a, patis a patisserie? A patisserie. That's a patisserie is like a boulangerie, but with just sweet confectionery goods. It's like sweet little desserts. A brasserie is a type of bra to hold up boobies, boobs, breasts. An epicurie epic, epic is a magazine in a rotisserie is our answer. I have a good hunch that it's C. That is the right answer. Easy. Before Frasier, in which other sitcom had the character of Dr. Frasier Crane appeared? Oh, God. Okay, well, MASH isn't a sitcom. Right? I don't think it's a situational comedy. I don't know about Taxi and Cosby. I just, I haven't, those aren't on my radar. But Cheers is on my radar. That's a sitcom that's located in a bar in Boston that you can go if you go to Boston. And it is as underwhelming as the show if you were to watch it today. My gut says that it's C. Okay, C. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Bang! Okay. <sighs> wow. The word kebab derives from which language? I would assume Arabic. But this is just because, like... Fuck. What even is kebab? Kebab is food. It's Mediterranean, right? I guess maybe that's Latin then, right? Maybe it's Latin. It's probably Latin. Because Met Medi Mediterranean is like Italy, Greece, but also Turkey. But they don't speak Arabic in Turkey, do they? They speak Turkish. But I also think they speak Arabic. Uh, maybe I go Arabic. I don't think it's Hindi or Spanish. I don't think I want to use one of my lifelines. <sighs> Give me Arabic. A. Yes, that's it. Is that your final? That will be my final answer. You have given your final oh God. answer. I hope it is the right one. Me too. You think oh! perfect. Yes. Nice answer. Okay. At the pace you're going, you're going to make short work of this new question. In the board game Monopoly, what is the fee that players can pay themselves to get out of jail? Hmm. Fuck. Wow. Oh, this is a hard one. Oh, God. Oh, man, it's been so long. Okay, here's the thing. I know you can buy yourself out of jail, but it's such a rarely done thing, because if, if anyone's ever played Monopoly, you always know you don't buy your way out of jail. Because usually buying your way out of jail just allows you to roll and run into more fucked up properties that have been built up in hotels. So being in jail is like a blessing. I don't think it's under 75 Because $75, I think, is the luxury tax. And it would be crazy if luxury tax was higher than the price of getting out of jail. It would also say a lot about society. It's 100 or 200. I just don't know which. I mm. Wow. 200 seems high. But it's also fair. You're in jail. You should be punished. 100 is just a really nice round number though. 
Should I use a lifeline? So I have to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. I'm basically halfway. I don't think I want to use a lifeline before the halfway point because I only get four lifelines. Oh god, I'm gonna kick myself if it's 200. Let's go for C. I'm you gonna know fucking what my kick next myself. Question is right. Is this your final answer? Yes. That's my final answer. You have made your choice. Unfortunately, it all ends here for you. This 50? is not the right answer. Sorry. I really didn't handle that one at all. Luxury taxes, more money? It was an incredible run. Great game. That says a lot about society. Alright, run me back. What came into effect in the U.S. on January 16, 1920? Prohibition. They outlawed booze. And I would say B, obviously. So this is your final answer? Yes. It's absolutely. crazy they outlawed booze. That's like, how did they get that passed? No, but that one's the right answer. Which of these people was a veteran U.S. news anchor? <laughs> Wait, who's the guy? Brian? Brian, what's his name? The guy who p said he was on a heli- uh, like a chopper in the Iraq war or something? He was like on the plane in 9-11? That guy's a goddamn veteran. Semper Fi. Uh, which of these people was a veteran U.S. news anchor? What is the- what is it asking me? Was a veteran U.S.- so like, do they mean served in the- in the war? The only person here who I know is a news anchor is Walter Cronkite. I don't consider Jay Leno a news anchor. I don't think Arsenio Hall is a news anchor. And Steve Allen, I don't... And Massimo chooses D. This is so fucking embarrassing because I went to the Walter Cronkite School of Mass Communication and Journalism. You know Run me my check. Question is. You got it? Bam! Well done. Thank you, Walt. Who communicates with Howie Mandel by phone on Deal or No Deal? The banker. I'm choosing the banker. It inspires confidence in me. Easy. Is you think? Howie Mandel and his little soul patch had such a grip on daytime TV for years. What was the name of Picasso, the artist? What was the first name of uh, 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 Pablo? What was the first name of Picasso? Of what? What? I'm going to choose D. I think his daughter's name is Paloma, which is also my mother's name. Final answer. You got it right. Okay. A TV series starring Angela Lansbury was titled Murder She Wrote. I'm choosing D. It inspires confidence in me. You seem to be convinced, but you got to that threshold. So you are in good shape. Okay, time. embarrassing. I only know that because there's a chain of burgers in Los Angeles called Burger She Wrote. <laughs> And it's pretty good. <laughs> this question should I, I didn't know about that show at all. Theory. I just know Burger She Wrote's a thing, so I imagine they, that's a that's a joke. Which of these is not a first name of a former U.S. president? Wow. Woodrow Wilson. Get that out of here. Thomas Jefferson. Easy. Warren or Samuel. Warren. 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 Warren G. Harding. Samuel is a soft name. That's for soft folk, not for presidential folk. Samuel. Eh. Too many vowels to have any power behind that name. No, I, I don't think I don't think I could I don't think I could imagine Americans letting themselves be ruled by a Samuel. And Massimo chooses D. It's weak. It's weak. Are you sure? Um that's my final. You make it look easy. It's too weak. You got it. Good for a beer, though. 
Uh, you know Sam's a weak name because they called the motherfucker Pajama Sam. On which part of the body do your hands rest when you stand with your arms akimbo? What? What? Uh, what? On which part of your... Okay, wait, wait, wait. On which part of your body do your hands rest when you stand with your arms akimbo? What the hell does that even mean? My arms are akimbo? The only thing I know about akimbo is there's a kimbo slice, but I believe it's not akimbo. <laughs> Isn't akimbo like in Call of Duty? Doesn't it mean dual wielding? Like the akimbo 1887s? You can have a gun, and if you get a second one, you're shooting at akimbo. So it's kind of like... I think it's at the hips. Maybe it's just shooting at, shooting at the hips. If you're shooting akimbo. Because you wouldn't be shooting at the head or the knees. I think it's the hips. I'm choosing D. It inspires confidence in me. What will be your final answer? That's my. This is Call of Duty. That will be Call of Duty. Final please, answer. please say the 50 plus days I spent playing you is worthwhile. Okay. The computer validated your answer. Well done. You got it. I believed it to the end. I believed it to the end. That's so true of me. Okay. Thomas Jefferson, lock it in. Third president of the United States of America. Wait, stop. Pause. Is that right? Fuck. I Abraham Lincoln is stupid. Oh, shit. I want to say it goes George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison? Monroe? John Quincy Adams? Yeah, I think it's... I think Jefferson's the third. And I'm pretty sure there was huge beef between Jefferson and Adams that, that really came to light. I gotta go, Jefferson. Hey. Yes, that's it. Final answer... Yeah. Great, great, great. I to be fair, I asked this same question on my trivia show. Execute. So they kind of bit my shit, but I'm not mad. It's like Elizabeth the First of England reigned for most of the latter half of which century? Oh God. For fuck's sake. I don't know. Elizabeth the First of England? Oh god, man. Question eight is a ball breaker today. Oh man, I, oh, oh. I look. I don't think it. Oh, I don't even want to say a thing. I don't think it's the fourteenth. I don't think that. I want to say it's the sixteenth. I don't know why. Something in my plums feels like it's the sixteenth. What a fucked question. I feel like the 1500s adds up. The 13 and 1400s is so old. In the 1600s I feel like it was just a bunch of men who were getting really weird. So I want to say it's the 1500s. I have a good hunch that it's C. Is that your final? Yes. Um, That's my final answer. All right, let's find out the right answer together. That's an answer I can get behind. A brilliantly executed success. Light work. Light work. You will be asked a new question now. Also called the giant gum. What is Australia's tallest tree? Oh, I got no clue. I have legitimately no clue. Hmm. No, I got nothing. I, I, I won't even attempt to guess. Because I can't even, like, rule a couple out and make an educated guess. I think I have to use a lifeline. 
I think for this lifeline, I'm going to call an Australian. I'm going to call Don B. He always answers. Literally, he literally always answers. I'm calling my other Australian friend, Josh Man. Joshy. Hello? Joshy, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm sleepy. What's up? I'm, hey, I'm live on YouTube. On YouTube gaming? Yeah, that's right. Everyone can hear you right now with your sexy morning voice. It's, it's 11 a.m. I don't know oh. why your voice sounds... Oh, wait, you were going to bed? Yeah, I'm sleepy. You go to bed at 11 p.m.? Oh, I woke what are you, you gay for making fun of me right now? No, oh. I feel bad that I woke you up. I, it's totally normal no, to go to bed alone. No. It's super cool. I'm up. I'm awake. <laughs> I just had a what question about. I had a question about. I was, I'm doing a trivia show, and I and Ooh. I had a question that I thought you might know the answer to. Oh shit! Okay, hold on. Let me sit up. Let me turn the light on. I'm doing my best thinking in the light. Okay, it's on. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Also called the giant gum. What is Australia's tallest tree? The giant gum? Yeah, it's Australia's tallest tree. I'll give you the and options. What's on the, line? what's on the line here? If I lose, I have to do one of those NPC streams where I go, Ice cream so good. Yum yum. Gang gang. <laughs> and then I have to give gang, away gang. all the money I make from it. To who? To chat. Hold on. How do they have to be in chat from the start of the stream, or like, can any newcomers get involved? Or are you trying to get paid from this? Just no, 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 no. Just, just, curious. just curious. Are you trying to just throw curious. this so just you curious. can go to chat and maybe get paid? No, 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 no. What are the options? What are the options? <laughs> we have mountain ash. B. Carry K A R R I. C. Jara. Mm -hmm. Or D. Ah, uh, Jara. Wait. You... Oh, what's D? What's D? Sorry. sorry. Iron Bark. Does Jara sound and right? Is... And this is big gum? It's giant gum. Oh. Gi oh Does gum. that change things? That's... Jara is. Jara is big gum. What were the first two again then? Are you kidding me? What were the first two? Mountain Ash and Kari. It's between Jara and, and, and Kari here. Fuck. Because I know Jari's big gum. Wait, then it's just Jara, right? There's no way there's a big gum and a giant gum. No, because Mountain Ash can be medium gum as well. You're oh, kidding. This is tough. You have to be kidding me. <laughs> there's three levels of gum. They have, like, gear five over there, too. Wait, can I have a lifeline? No, You're the lifeline, Josh. Bad. You fucked this, huh? You're Australian! <laughs> yeah. I could yeah, tell I you really America's know. tallest tree. What is it? Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that sounds like fair enough. Fuck. Alright, go with... What was the last one again? Iron Bark. Oh, that just can't be it, huh? Just tell me it, I'll lock and it, it was in. Jara. Alright, and what was B? I need to hear B one it's more time. It's Kari, or it, it, I'll say, sorry, should I say it with an accent? Yeah, yeah. Kari. Oh, lock that in. Lock that in, and I hope it's wrong. I really do. No, 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 don't, come on, don't screw me over lock here. Lock in B. Lock no, no, in no, 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 I, 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 I think it's Jara, right? <laughs> it, it sounds the most Jara. Australian. 
Oh, it's B. It has to be B. <laughs> no, you're B. trying to get me to lose because I'm fucking up the accent. Stick with me. Which one do you think it is? Oh, I think it's C, dude. I think My it's gut C. says that it's C. All right, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm locking C. it in. Dude, um, imagine it's B. And what will be your final answer? I'm locking it in. That's my final answer. You have oh made God, your choice. Oh, okay, okay. Oh okay. no, you were so Josh. close. Oh, but I'm so ashamed. Josh! So ashamed. What the nice fuck, shot. dude? Is it right? No, it's not. It's neither of them. Don't tell me it was Mountain Ash. You were wrong on both the boards. You, it was your fourth option. <laughs> Wait, is it confirmed wrong yet? Yeah, yeah no, it's confirmed wrong. I'm already lost. Your, your first, second, and third options were all wrong. Um, Fuck, I should have called Miles. Okay, well, I was in the chat from the start, so... You don't, 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 don't say that. No. You would have fucked it worse. <laughs> Miles would have got it. Be like, nah, that's Iron Bark every day of the week. Like, lock that in, Iron <laughs> Bark, man. I promise you. I promise uh, you that he fucks it worse than I did. Right. You, still, you were with Jara Buddies, dude. Come on. It was you and me. <laughs> Jara Buddies. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate the help, man. Uh, whatever. Hey, great games, man. Yeah, have a good night. What the fuck, dude? What the? Yeah, dude, fucking Australians, man. Fucking Australians. Chat, you don't get paid out yet, all right? Uh, until the full hour has been reached, you don't get paid out. So let's jump back in. Let's jump back in to who wants to be a millionaire. God damn it. Oh, my. Jara. Jara. What is that? All right, come on. Come on. Which of these common used phrases describes a dull person? Oh. Hello. Uh, muddy buddy. And let's go for A. And what? Oh no, you were so close. What? What's a fuddy oh, duddy? I'm so ashamed. <laughs> so ashamed. Wait, I thought it'd be like muddy buddy. What a shame. You're leaving with nothing at all. Thanks for coming and good what luck What is a fuddy duddy? What the hell was that? Run me back! Run me back! In what year did the American Civil War start? 1961. I know it would say B, obviously. No, it's 64! Oh, thank God. You got it. A brilliant. If you floss, you clean between your teeth. And let's go for Easy. A. Editors, put this one in and not the other one. <clears throat> uh, what does the word discreet mean? Okay, so I'm an English major, actually. There's th This is a trick question because there's two discreets. One with two E's and then a T at the end, or one that's E-T-E. -E. This one means separate and distinct. I'm going to say B. Are you at? That's what we were looking for. Easy one. Easy one. Which of these is an informal term for an environmentalist? Ooh, in the sixth grade, I called a girl a tree hugger at camp and she cried and then told the teacher that I called her that and I couldn't participate in that day's activities. It's B, of course. And now to the most important. You took your time. <laughs> your new question. Where in a book would you normally find an epilogue at the end? I'm choosing D. It inspires confidence in me. 
You got to that threshold, so you are in good shape. All right, five down, five down, ten to go. This new question shouldn't give you a hard time. I hope in so. In theory. In the fall of 2010, which musical night described modern songwriters as pretty awful? Musical night. Night. Someone who has gained knighthood. Wow. Uh, I don't think it's Elton John, because he does a lot of collab music with younger creators. Ringo was close to, if not... Ringo Starr's dead, right? <laughs> I don't... I So I think it's Paul McCartney or Mick Jagger. Paul McCartney would have raised bigger headlines with this sentence, but it seems more in Mick Jagger's style to say something that uh, mean. And Massimo chooses D. So I'm going to go Mick Jagger. Are you absolutely sure? Is that your final answer? Yeah, it is. That's my final answer. Wait. Okay. The computer... Is he even knighted? Answer. You can't always win. That's the wrong answer. Sorry. Oh, but I'm so ashamed. So ashamed. I'm sorry. Fuddy -luddy. But you're still leaving with your guarantee... All right, all right, all right, all right. We uh, 32 minutes have already passed. Okay, fucking focus, focus, focus. Focus, 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 focus. Which animal is the national emblem of the United States? It is the what? Bald eagle. Let's go for C. Bald eagle. That's an answer. What would most like? What would you most likely do with a Cabernet Sauvignon? I would drink that shit. Hey, love me a cab. Yes, that's it. Which branch of the U.S. Security Services protects the president? The Secret Service. I'm gonna say B. <laughs> Which member of the family is called a papoose by Native Americans? Uh, grand, uh, grand, uh, grandfather. It's B. It's papoose and mamoose. So this is your final answer. It's a baby. It all ends here Oh fuck! <laughs> this is not the right. I thought it was like papoose and mamoose. You know? No loads refuse condom weight. Don't call me that. Run it back, run it back, run it back. All right, let me enter my mind palace. I'm opening the front door. At the Winter Olympics, hockey's played on what service? Okay, or surface. I have a I have a whole room dedicated to hockey downstairs in the basement. Ice. And Massimo chooses D. What? That's a Okay, which kind of item is likely to be protected by a dust jacket? A book. And let's go for A. You seem to... Yeah. Which of these is a well-known American rock band? Aerosmith. My gut says that it's C. Okay, C. They sang Sweet Child of Mine, I think? I don't know. So this... That... Second star to the right and straight on till morning are directions to where? Neverland. Let's go with A. Peter Pan. You had to make a choice. You got it. <sighs> so you're quite annoyed by this. The name of which Greek god was given to the U.S. space program of manned moon landings? Apollo. Let's go for C. Although, should it have not been... Apollo's sister? Artemis? Was she not the moon carrier and Apollo is the sun carrier? Final answer? I don't know. You sure? This money is safe now. Thanks for the threshold. Hmm. 
Florida shares a land border with only two other states, Alabama and Georgia. Oh, they made that easy on me. Georgia for sure, yeah. Atlanta, Savannah. It's B, of course. That is correct. According to the song, what did the soldiers of the First World War pack up their troubles in? Wow. Pack up their troubles in a dry duffel bag. I couldn't imagine if you're in war that your duffel bag would be dry. Old kit bag. Old kit bag is like... Oh, wait, that would make sense. Uh, well, I... Because the... Hmm. It must be old kit bag. Because a kit bag would be like if you're playing sports, right? Like a kit is a jersey. And so your kit bag would be like your old sports bag that you've re... Or retrofitted to be a war bag. I'm going to go with old kit bag. I have a good hunch that it's C. And what will be your final answer? Yes, that's my final answer. If this is your oh, final God. answer... Let's it makes so much sense in my head. Answer. You make it look easy. Okay, you nice. Nice. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> Question seven. On The Simpsons, what is the name of Homer Simpson's father? Oh, fuck. Abe? Oh, shit. Oh god, I think it's Abe. Or is it Art? Art. Art Simpson. Bart Simpson. Art. Abe. I think it's Abe. My gut says that it's C. Okay, C. Final answer? You sure? That will be my final answer. All right. I've seen this motherfucker walk right in and out together. of a bar so many times. You took your time, but you are right. What are you scared of if you suffer f from triskaidekaphobia? What the hell? What the hell? Try, try, try sky the kafob triskaidekaphobia. Triskaidekaphobia. What the? F so. Mmm, jeez. Okay, so there's a couple of takeaways here, right? Like, phobia. If we remove that, we're left with tri-sky-deca. Tri-3. Deca-10. Sky? Maybe number? Can you be die sky decaphobic? Is that the number 12? I would assume it's the number 13. Hmm. But deca also isn't spelled with a K usually, right? Like decahedron? Spelled with a C. I don't know why there's a K now. So maybe it's just groups of three. Or maybe it's totally unrelated and it's freaking heights, you know? I, I want to get a little farther in the contest. It's always question eight. I've not gotten past this. I'm going to do the number 13. And I would say... Lock it in. Obviously. Just because try and Deca. This is so um, stupid of me. That's my final answer. Well done. Yes! Got it. Oh, it made so I much sense. time to think. Why do they spell it Deca with a K and then Deca with a C? I don't get it. Oh, God. What? At the end of Shakespeare's Macbeth, who's crowned the King of Scotland? There is a King of Scotland in Macbeth? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Banquo. I got nothing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven questions separate us from glory. Macbeth. You know what? I'm going to ask chat on this one. Mods, can you run a poll? 
Can you run a poll, A, B, C, or D? At the end of Shakespeare's Macbeth, who is crowned the king of Scotland, chat? Is it A, Banquo, B, Macduff, C, Malcolm, or D, Macbeth? I guess it makes sense if it's Macbeth, but it makes as much sense to be a non-Macbeth character. I don't, I don't know about, I don't know about Macbeth. Do we have a poll rolling? All right, Tim, DM me the results of the poll. I have our DMs open. What the fuck? Starting August 31st, you are out. What the hell? You're kidding me. Is this the actual poll results? This is insane. First of all, you're out. <laughs> C, 34%. B, 33%. Really? It's that close? I mean, I assume it's one of the two then. I'll go with C because it had a higher percentage, but... Oh, this does not feel good. I have a good hunch that it's C. Oh, chat, don't, don't fuck me over on this just because you get paid if I lose. And what will be your final answer? That's my final answer. You have made your choice. You've reached the threshold. What, why did so many people vote Mac McDuff? It's like a Simpsons you beard. You'll be asked a new question now. The best-selling novel, The Beach, was set in which country? Oh, God. I got no clue. I got a fuck all idea. I mean, beach makes me think of Seychelles or Barbados. I don't think it's India or Thailand. I guess they have a lot of oceanfront, though. Mm. Fuck. Let me swap out the question. I have three lifelines remaining. I have a swap, phone a friend, and a 50-50. Let's swap out this question for another one. Switch, you decide to be wise. I would have guessed Seychelles. Oh, thank God. This new question is now waiting for you to be answered with flying colors. Oh, what is Bogota? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. What is the name of Bogota's main international airport? I, I don't know. Santa Marta. My gut says that it's C. I got nothing. Okay, C. And I'm not going to blow two lifelines. El Dorado, like the That's movie. The Sorry. I really didn't handle that one at all. It's Fuck, dude! I, I wait, wait. I'm, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. If you compete in the Olympics and you're awarded a gold medal, you finish first. Yes, that's it. In the popular children's story, who is the brother of Gretel? Hansel. I'm going to choose D. In the spelling of words in English, what letter almost always follows Q? U. My gut says that it's C. Okay, C. In which of these hobbies is a kiln likely to be used? Uh, pottery. I'm choosing D. It inspires confidence in me. 
Complete the title of the 2002 film, Bend It Like Beckham. It's B. Of course. No. How many states begin with the letter K? Kentucky, Kansas... I think that's it. Kentucky, Kansas. California. <laughs> Stupid. Kentucky, Kansas. I think that's it. I think that's it. And I would say B, obviously. You pulled it off. Okay. The area that comprises the state of California was ceded by which country in 1848? Mexico? Hmm. I'm gonna say B. Wait. Yeah. Is that your final? Got it right. Well done. <laughs> Which of these is the famous daughter of the Native American chief Powhatan? Pa pa uh, it's Sacagawea. Sacagawea. It is not Pocahontas. It's B. Of course. And what will be your final answer? It's Pocahontas! Oh, oh my god, 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 oh my god. Something dull or ordinary is described as run of the mill. Yes, that's it. Where does Winnie the Pooh live? The Hundred Acre Wood. I'm gonna say B. The first director of the FBI was John Edgar Hoover. My gut says that it's C. Okay. That's C. wrong! Well done. What is the title of Dan Brown's best-selling book? It's The Da Vinci Code, and it has sold, I think, like 300 million copies. It's one of the most famous books ever. And Massimo chooses D. It's, like, insane how many books Are have sold. Absolutely I, I, yes. I think it's way more than absolutely. the number I said. I looked it up once. It was crazy. A cult classic murder mystery of the 1990s was a television series called Twin Peaks, and it's been revived. Good hunch that it's C. You beat that. that was uh, an ABC show. Here's a new question for you. According to the introduction of the TV original Star Trek series, how did the Enterprise go on its space missions? Bolt, uh, go, going boldly where nobody's been before. I'm choosing D. It inspires confidence in me. You make it. CNN is an abbreviation for which American media company? Cable News Network. And Massimo chooses D. Just hold it. I love these questions, baby. What is the name of Mr. Rochester's house where Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre is governess? Five of those words don't add up to me. What is the name of house where Jane governs? Pemberley. My gut says that it's C. Okay, C. Unfortunately, it all I don't know. Hard. I don't know why I did that. This I don't know why I fucking did that. Shit! Why'd I do that? I, I gotta get rid of... I gotta get rid of literature. I'm a fucking literature major. Ten minutes. Oh my God. By which name is Eldrick Woods better known as? Tiger. Hey. Yes, Tiger Woods. Yeah. Capital of Arkansas is Little Rock. It's B. Of course. That. To escape a situation without injury, you escape unscathed. I'm gonna say B. The four C's of diamond are color, cut, carrot, 
clarity. My gut says that it's C. Okay, C. You. Chapeau is the French word. <laughs> so if you guys, I, I never bring this up. I'm actually French. So this is so funny this came up. It's hat. And a chapeau is a hat. D. And now, to, well done. Now the good news is that you can't lose anything. But, uh, but uh, in uh, France, we say for a baseball cap, we say casquette. It's a different word, but it is New similar. We also like drinking, um, drinking all types of fluids. Who created Baymax in Big Hero 6? Hero. And let's go for A. You seem... Oh, I'm sorry. Sadashi created him and then died! Fuck! Oh, so oh, ice cream so good. Yum yum. Gang gang. Boys! Prolonged period of warm weather, heat wave. A five card stud is a variation of poker. What kind of animal uh, animal is affectionately known as a pooch? A dog. It's B. Of course. A disaster film starring Steve McQueen and Paul Newman is the towering inferno. And let's go for A. That's Ebony is a type of substance. Wood. I'm going to choose D. You reach that one. Who created Baymax in the Big Hero 6? It was actually Tadashi. People think it was Hero, but it's actually his brother. And I would say B, obviously. You pulled it off. The conjunctiva is a membrane associated with which body organ? I don't know. Conjunctiva. Conjunctivitis. <gasps> Conjunctivitis happens in the eye. My gut says that it's C. Okay, C. Is that your final? Just hold it. You got Oh my god, I knew something! <laughs> On the sitcom Friends, what is the name of Phoebe's twin sister? Ursula. Let's go for C. Are you sure? You figured it out. Are you fucking serious? In what year was Leonardo da Vinci born? Oh my god, what a dumbass question. It's gotta be 1452, lock it in, right? That's like the Renaissance period. I have a good hunch that it's C. All right, question nine, we're doing well. In fall 2012, Felix Baumgartner became the first skydiver to break the sound barrier. Achieving what maximum speed? Oh, fuck. Wow. What a fucked question. I mean, this is impossible for me to answer. Well, can't you only fall at 9.8 meters per second? Isn't that the speed of gravity? 9 point, is that right? So what is that? 9.8 meters per second. So 10 meters per second. So is this a stupid thing I'm doing? So 10 meters per second times 660 meters per 10 seconds, 600 meters per minute, which is 600 meters per, wait, 600 meters per minute, 6,000 meters every 10 minutes. So 30, 36,000 meters per hour. And then divide it by 36,000, 36 kilometers per hour. I'm so fucking stupid. Oh, I'm stupid. Uh, okay. Okay, I, I think the speed of sound, I think it's 833. Oh, God. I think it's 833. My gut says that it's C. Okay, C. No, that's so fast. That is so fast.
50-50. Let's take away two incorrect answers. I think it's it's either 633 or 833. 833. I I I wanted to say before. Good hunch. Lock it in. Let's see. Is that your final? Well, you just got to that important threshold. <sighs> okay. Okay, six answers left. The Marshall Plan was intended to help countries on which continent after World War II? I don't know. Asia? Fuck, do I YOLO it? Oh, fuck. Do I YOLO it? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna switch questions. The question does not I would've said you. Asia. British sportswoman Denise Lewis won a gold medal at the Sydney Olympics in which event? Decathlon. Triathlon. Decathlon. I'm choosing D. It inspires confidence in me. Final. Oh. Shit! 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 What is a heptathlon? Oh god. Fuck, it's our last attempt. The plot in a garden where flowers are grown. Bed. I only have three minutes before I can reset. In Dallas, Fort Worth, Dallas, Fort Worth, and Houston are all cities located in Texas. I'm gonna say B. All part of the triangle. Which of these cities is the least populated? Austin, Detroit, Baltimore, or Kansas? Kansas is in a city. It's probably... It's probably Austin. And let's go for A. Kansas is a city? I thought it was a state. Which of these is a type of melon? Watermelon. I, I would say B, obviously. Which of these is a carnivorous plant? Venus flytrap. Says that it's C. Oh god! Okay. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! If you deal with the challenge well, you're set to be passing with flying colors. It inspires confidence in me. If you're talking about a member of a fraternal organization, Mason is short for Freemason. Let's go with A. In November 2001, Michael Bloomberg was elected uh, mayor of which city? Uh, uh, oh, New York. A. Yes, that's it. You got to By which middle initial is the film director Manaj Neliatu Shyamalan known as Knight? It's B. Knight. Of M. Course. Knight Shyamalan. That. On whose novel is Gone with the Wind based? It's a Steinbeck. And let's go for A. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, we actually only have one more chance. All right, chat. This is our last attempt. Like I said at the very start of the stream, I only have one hour to complete it all, and I'm allowed to finish my final round out. We are at an hour. This is my final round. I do not get a second chance. This is everything I get. So if I fail any of these questions, it's Jover. What does Pinocchio's nose do when he lies? It grows. It's B. Of course. Of co what type of creature is Jerry from the cartoon series Tom and Jerry? He's a mouse. I'm going to choose D. You no, but that one's the right answer. In which of these sports is a checkered flag normally used? Race. I'm choosing D. It inspires confidence in me. That 
Which surname follows gun and lock to give the name of two craftsmen? Gunsmith, locksmith. My gut says that it's C. Okay, C. Just a in which part of the body are the retina, the iris, and the cornea? The ha- the, 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 the I'm going to choose D. I'm not going to talk for a while. You seem to be- You got to the threshold. Money is safe. According to the proverb, the thief of time is procrastination. I'm going to say B. You make it look- what is the name of the game that Vanellope from Wreck-It Ralph comes from? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. It's either... Oh, jeez. I think it's either Candy Crush or Sugar... Candy Rush or Sugar Rush. I think it's based off Candy Crush, right? Candy Rush is a little too close to Candy Crush, though. I would imagine it's Candy or Sugar Rush. Fuck. I, I, I think I have to. I don't think I want a 50-50. I think I'm going to lifeline, and I'm going to ask chat, because I think you guys would know this. Mods, if you can run a poll, and Tim, if you can DM me. But I'm going to ask chat, because I'm not going to get this on my own. All right, Tim, I have our DMs open. Chat, what is the answer? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. So how, how's uh how's y'all's day going? You guys um do anything fun today? So have you guys like make sure to subscribe to the channel or Tim? Do we have the poll ready? Everyone is saying A on mass. 64% of you guys have said A sugar rush, which I think is right. And let's go for A. You know what my next question is, right? If that's what we were looking for. All right. I think yeah, I think they get sued if it's candy rush. Oh fuck. Uh, 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 what the fuck, dude? Nick Nicktalopia is known to the layman as what? Night terrors, night blindness, night sweats, or night vision goggles. I don't know what Pia is. I feel like it's night terrors. But it could be blindness. I'm gonna swap questions. You choose to use your switch lifeline. Yeah, I would have said careful. night terrors, I think. Well done. Thank God. You're fucking me. Okay, I... L so it's actually interesting. I listened to a Planet Money episode about the creation of Monopoly. And it was actually created and stolen. Like, it was created and passed around as a game. And then one of the people who played it stole it and sent it to, I guess, well, what is it, the Parker Brothers? And then they published the game with this beautiful, like, 
This game was made in a small town, and it was a rags to riches story, but it was they stole the game. And I think it was the 1930s. Let's go with A. Final? Yes, that's my final answer. You have made your choice. You make it look easy. You got. In terms of quantity, which scientific prefix comes next above mega? You got a megabyte? You got a gigabyte? Wait, kilobyte's the smallest. That's 100. Megabyte is 1,000? Kilobyte is 10,000. Terabyte's 100,000? Pet petabytes a million? A I'm gonna go with Giga. That it's C. And what will be your final answer? In which Disney movie did Powhatan, the chief of the Powhatan tribe, appear? Ah, this is Pocahontas. Powhatan is actually the father of Pocahontas. Let's go for C. So you've reached the threshold. Wow, this is fucked. When did the government of East Germany open its borders? It's 1989. I don't know if it's November or June. And the fact that they've given both is making this much harder. I know it's 1989 as a fact. But I could not tell you whether it was the summer of 89 or the, the winter of 89. All I know is Mr. Gorbachev tear down that wall. Let's do a 50-50, I guess. Okay, let's take away two incorrect answers. Let's see what we are left with. Kill yourself. All right, maybe this is stupid. But in the video, Mr. Gorbachev tear, tear down this wall. There's no snow. And I think in Germany it snows. But I've never been to Germany in my life. So I feel like it's summer. It's B. Of course. It's insane that they did this to me, though. Final answer? You sure? Um... That's my final answer. The choice. What? Ah! This is the wrong answer. I really didn't handle that one at all. It's disappointing. It was an incredible run. Great game. What a terrible 50-50. What a terrible 50-50. God, that was the worst case. I just needed them to get rid of one. I knew it was 89. I knew that was the thing I knew was 89. Oh, that was so mean. All right, chat. Well, we are going to do a NPC stream uh, next Wednesday, probably. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It hurts. Where do the Chiefs play in the NFL? Kansas City. Don't, no, 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 no. Don't do that to me. Because the question didn't say which city has a higher population. Austin, Kansas City, or Baltimore? It said Kansas. And uh, maybe I'm unaware, but I did not know people from Kansas City called their city Kansas. 
You don't call it the Kansas Chiefs. It's the Kansas City Chiefs. Everyone calls them the Kansas City Chiefs. It didn't say Kansas City. It said Kansas. I, I, I'm not dumb. The game is dumb. Anyway, chat, if you don't know, because I lost, I have to do an NPC stream, and I'm going to give chat all the money from the NPC stream. That stream will be next Wednesday, uh, so I will see you guys then. Uh, and for now, I am ending the stream a sad fucking loser. <sighs> woof, 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 woof. Woof, 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 woof. It won't be on TikTok. It'll be on YouTube. Scam? No, you just showed up late and then expected something because of the title. What do you mean? I'm doing everything the title says and more. You guys just showed up late and you didn't ask your peers for notes. It's not a scam. You're just m misinformed. I, I like very, I like super clearly outlined what I was going to do. Your ass has probably said scam when I said I'm going to finish out this round, even though I said that at the start too. I don't know what you want from me. Look, people are going to get paid out thousands of dollars next Wednesday. You got to be here for that. If you're not here, that's okay. I'm not upset about it. But I hope, regardless, you have a great rest of your night. And thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys all here tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific, where I am going to be watching nine episodes of Vinland Saga Season 1, my favorite anime. Uh, so I hope to see you there. Uh, and until then, have a good rest of your day. Goodbye, everybody. See you later, everybody. I'm going to go hang out with my girlfriend. Peace!